Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Jack. Welcome to Everyday English. Today, we're going to be talking about a pretty important topic spending money. If you're going to be spending money here in Australia, you're going to be using these dollars. The Aussie dollar, or Australian dollar, is the official Australian currency, although here we just call them dollars. The smaller unit of currency is cents. One dollar is made up of 100 cents. One way to spend money is using cash, which in Australia comes in notes and coins. Let's have a look at the different denominations that Australia's currency comes in. Let's start with the coins. We've got two dollars, one dollar, fifty cents, twenty cents, ten cents, and five cents. And then there are the notes. We've got five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars, and one hundred dollars. Although I don't see too many of these, do you, Jack? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> <laughs> now you can get cash out or withdraw cash from the bank or from an ATM, which stands for automatic teller machine. But of course, it's pretty common for people to pay without cash using a credit card or a debit card or even your phone. We sometimes call that a cashless transaction or just paying by card. Let's have a look at a scenario involving spending money. Hi Charlotte, how are you? Yeah, good thanks Sarah. What can I get for you today? Um, how much are your sandwiches? Sandwiches are five fifty. dollars uh, What about the pies? $4.60. All right, I'll grab a pie and a can of lemonade. Yeah, no problem. That's just $9.80. Do you have anything small? I don't have much change. Oh, sorry, sir. I don't have any loose change. Uh, I just went to the ATM and all I have is 50s. Uh, do you take car? Yeah, no problem. Credit or saving? Uh, credit. All good. Beautiful. Thanks so much. Have a good day. You too. You might have noticed there that when people talked about prices, they often dropped the words dollars and cents. For example, instead of saying $5.50, we could say $5.50 or $5.50. You have to listen carefully to the pronunciation of numbers because sometimes they can sound quite similar. For example, 50 and 15. It can be hard to hear the difference between the T and the teen. There's also 13 and 30, 14 and 40, 16 and 60, 17 and 70, 18 and 80, and 19 and 90. So we've talked about buying smaller things with cash and cards, but how about spending money on bigger things like cars and houses? For bigger purchases like homes or cars, you might have to take out a loan from a bank. Loan is a noun and it means something that's given out temporarily, in this case money, with the expectation that it will be given back later. The verb is lend and the past tense of lend is lent. If you take out a loan, you become a borrower. You borrow the bank's money. And you have to repay it or make repayments. A loan that's for a house is called a home loan or a mortgage. If you take out a loan, you will have to pay interest. That means the amount of money you owe will increase by a certain percentage. Now, percentage is a unit of measurement that means a part of 100. So, for example, 50% means half. On a home loan, you might have to pay 5% interest, which means the amount you owe will increase by 5% every year. Banks will also charge interest on credit cards, which let you spend money that you don't actually have, as long as you pay it back later. Let's have a look at some more words that are associated with spending. There's buy, as in, I buy lots of clothes. The past tense is bought. I bought a nice dress. Purchase, which is another word for buy. I need to make a big purchase. I purchased a house. You can also sell, which means to exchange something for money. For example, I need to sell my house. The past tense is sold. I sold my house. 
there's transaction, which means buying or selling something. For example, I like to keep a record of my transactions. There's price, which is the amount of money you have to pay for something, and cost, which means the amount paid to produce something. Although these two words are often used to mean the same thing. For example, what's the price of this item? What does this item cost? There's expensive, which means has a high price or cost, and cheap or inexpensive, which means it has a low cost. And sometimes you can find something on sale, which means the price has been lowered temporarily. Well, that's just about it from us for now. But before we go, here are some questions for you to think about. What do you usually spend money on? How do you pay for it? Have you taken out a loan before? How long did it take you to pay it back? And how much interest did you pay? Well, we're off. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>